Great to have footy back. The return of footy for 2020 for Carlton and Melbourne fans. And we're underway. Ray gets them set. Favours pit net. Down towards Cripps. See, has an impact as soon as he comes on. High contact. High contact. And it's going to pit net. Ed Kerno running with Jack Viney. Jack Viney superb in that first game against West Coast. So he's got Ed Kerno, who's a, one of the best run with players in the competition for Carlton. Petrarca has got a long boot on him. Oh, it's short. He really timed it like he wanted to. Carlton need to be clever here. Fourth and 17th so far for Goody. Gorn and Pitonet. Simpson normally uses it well. Tomlinson cuts it off. Not paid the mark. Pitonet. Ten times already. Can they generate something from the middle, Melbourne? Here's an opportunity. Mer How can you be winning the tackles when you're also dominating possession? Well, that's why it's 31 to zip. Comes to ground, Neil Bullen. And Ray Chamberlain hit the ground. He was right there, Ray. Right. Little knocked out. Good spot for Max here against Pitonet. Pitonet ripped it out of the air, got it to Murphy. Stood up in a tackle. Used to pick 32 to get Trent Rivers as well. Scramble by Setterfield. Touch though. Oh, wow. You kick that in the air, there's only one winner. It was a strange kick. Carlton have only had 41 handballs for the game. Melbourne have had Gorn with a double handed pat down to Viney. Try to shoot the handball up. Pinnett got there. Kicked off the deck. Started to even right up. Influence in the second half. Pinnett on a tough start in Carlton Colours. It's gone early. Fought back nicely in the second quarter. No Carlton playing anywhere near it. Wow. And gets it. Straight from Max. Special delivery. Good boy, Pitnet. Yep. Just good follow-up work. Starting to work his way into it. The former Hawk. For a short option. Salem. Hell of a lot of belief. They turned the tide in the second turn. They just haven't put enough pressure on the scoreboard, but they are coming. Murphy. For a piece. So, yeah, from that domination early on in the quarter, in the first quarter, Carlton have had a real look. Forget the scoreboard. It's just the finishing touch they lack. Warren gets front position. That would have been really damaging that he missed. So they can come up with here. Cripps to Pitnet. Full of run. Here's Martin in front of Summer committing with Cripps. Oliver took the mark. Pitnet cuts it off and the Blues all go forward. Kick to Mark Pitnet. And even that last long ball down the line, he just worked Max off the full forward to try and give them a more competitive presence. Kerno. Errant by hand. And now Pitnet, who, by oh, gee, he's turned his game around. Pitonet and Gorn. Pitonet reached over him, hacked it out of the air. <laughs> but he's sort of he's going for the all or nothing, Ed. Pitonet gets back and he's been pretty damn good since being beaten early. Bounced back brilliantly and send the Blues back into attack. He's won a few fans today, Mark Pitonet. He drops it to the hot spot. Mackay from three deep brings it. Pumps it in the Gorn direction, not a bad option. Pitonet was wearing the note. Docky was waiting for it to start at the back. Ability and willingness to go and stand in the front spot all day. Well, Cripps has been awesome. Goes for the little pocket option. A now is a chance for the Blues because yeah. Pitnet. That's not a great kick by Viney. If you're going to do that, do it to the pocket and get it out of back. Now he blasts it. Heads long. Tomlinson, Pitnet. Tomlinson crunched. Great effort, Pitnet. 